Hello everybody. In this video I will show you how to disable password authentication on SSH server and allow only key authentication which is more secure. So let's get started. First we need to generate key on client machine. To do that type in ssh-keygen hit enter first you can enter path to your key or just leave it as default i will say john key next you can set passphrase if you'd like to i'll leave it empty and we've just generated two keys one is private another is public and we need to copy our public key to the server to remote ssh server to do that, type in SCP, path to your public key, and then name of your remote user, which is John in my case, at hostname, I will use localhost, colon, and path on the remote server. I will simply copy it to the home directory. Hit enter enter password of your remote user and we've just copied our file so we can remove it from our desktop we no longer need it i mean our public key uh, now we can connect to the remote machine i'll clear screen and to connect to it type in ssh username at host name and then hit enter enter password and we are connected to the remote machine by ssh now let's get listing of current directory and you can see that there is public key here next uh, let's let's create a directory uh, which is called dot ssh hit enter and let's change permission of it to 700 which is allows access of current user only uh, change mode 700.ssh hit enter so now only our user uh, will be able to enter to that folder and next we are ready to append our public key to authorized keys to do that type in cat john key dot pub double greater than sign and then path to your authorized keys which is dot ssh slash authorized underscore keys hit enter and now we can remove our public key we no longer need it and let's also change permissions of uh, the authorized keys to 600 type in change mode 600 and then pass to your file hit enter so now only our user can read and write to that file we are done at this point uh, let me clear screen and next we can proceed to the configuration of ssh service let's change directory type in cd at c ssh and now we need to edit sshd config type in sudo nano sshd config hit enter and here we need to adjust some settings in particular RSA authentication say to yes pub key authentication also yes which allows key authentication next we need to disable password authentication say uh, say password authentication to no but we also don't need challenge response authentication and we will also set it to no and use spam also no exit save 
the file. Now we've done changing the configuration and we're ready to reload it. To do that, type in sudo service ssh reload, hit enter. But I will not disconnect from the ssh terminal from the ssh session but instead I will simply open second terminal Oops. Uh, second terminal and I will test the connection from here that, to make sure that we've set up everything correctly in case something goes wrong I still have my session so I can fix something up there so let's try to connect I will type ssh dash i then path to your key we will try to connect using key without password and then username add hostname hit enter and we've just connected without any password which works great let's try to disconnect by hitting ctrl d and we'll try the same but without key and let's see what happens as you can see it says permission denied which is excellent uh, that's what we wanted to do so now we cannot access to our SSH server with without key we, uh, and we are not prompted to enter any password because password auth authentication is completely disabled so now you need to keep your key secure don't lose it uh, otherwise you will not be able to access to your server anymore uh, and now we can disconnect from here as well i hope this video was useful for you now you can uh, disable password auth authentication and allow only key authentication also i will write detailed blog post on the website and you will find link below this video and thank you for watching